I'd like to show you how to embed an RSS feed in your website. Now RSS feeds allow you to pull in information from other websites in like a, a news um, ticker type format. Um, and so many different websites have RSS feeds and you can take those feeds and, and display them on your website. So in this example I'm going to show you using a sample website I've set up how on this right area where there's just some filler information how you can replace that information with actual um, with an actual R RSS feed <clears throat> okay so the first step obviously is to locate the locate the RSS feed that you want to embed and in this case we're going to use Yahoo News as just an example but the next step is to um, is to actually create the widget and what we're going to do is we're going to create the RSS feed widget and then we're going to take it and place it on our website. Now the problem with doing any of this stuff is that you have to mess with code. You have to mess with HTML and CSS and JavaScript to actually get the RSS feed displaying and stuff. But if you're not technical and you don't know how to mess with that stuff, uh, I'd like to show you an interesting piece of technology that will allow you to do this, uh, this and many other things very, very quickly. So Ambit Update is a technology that will let you make quick and easy changes to your website just by typing directly on the screen. So um, here's a sample website I set up and we're going to put the, the um, RSS feed here but with Ambit Update you get this button that follows you wherever you go on the internet and once you're on your website and you choose the page you want to make a change to you hit the edit this page button <clears throat> and it opens up um, a very feature rich editor and you get all the traditional things you'd expect to see in a, in a um, word processor. But with Ambit Update, you can li just literally type on the screen to make a change. And it's really that simple. Now, for the RSS feed, we're going to go down here and we're going to replace this information um, with an actual RSS feed. Okay, so first step is to go to Google and search for RSS um, feed widget and there's a ton of different companies that offer different RSS feed um, creators um, and Ambit Update will take it and let you put it on your site so in this case I'm just going to choose the first one I see RSS feed widget and this is an area where you can now just paste in the URL of your RSS feed now if you have a blog or there's a, a blog that you want to see or you want to take the feed from Twitter or anything you would just go in and grab that feed URL paste it in here and then you can start to customize it so the quick little customizations I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the border and I'm going to make sure that it's transparent the board the background is transparent so that I don't get a white background because I want it to bleed into I want the background of the website to shine through okay so for the width I'm just gonna kinda take a guess I don't really know what it is and you can obviously play around with this with these numbers but I'm gonna choose let's say 150 and say 180 and I don't know if this is correct but once I'm done I just create the widget and what that does is it creates a small little widget and this looks like it might fit and it gives me some code now you don't need to know anything in here what this means all you have to do is just take this copy it and now you can paste it right here and the way to paste the HTML code is you just go and paste HTML and it and you can just paste it in here and we want to paste it right where the cursor is we hit paste and just like that you have your RSS feed embedded in your website now I could have played with the width and the height a little bit more to get it looking better but that's the easiest way to embed an RSS feed into your website <coughs> now to publish these changes to make it live for the world to see we just hit this publish button and just like that it took the changes we made and it made it live on the internet and now the world can see it so let me just refresh that page and there is our RSS feed oh actually it looks really nice there is our RSS feed and we get all of the different news feeds from Yahoo now if this was Twitter or a blog or, or whatever feed source you want it would show up here instead 
So the technology that we use to do this was um, Ambit Update. Ambit Update is, like I said before, it's a, it's a zero technology way to get in and make changes to your website yourself. And you can get started in just a couple minutes and it's up and running on your site. So you can head over to ambitupdate.com forward slash try it now. And if I do that, you're taken to a screen where you can type in your website address hit the get instant access and then you will get a, you will get an environment like this where you can go into your site and make changes on your screen you can paste that um, embed code hit that publish button and your changes would be made live instantly and that's all you have to do once it knows how to talk to your website any change you make you can add pictures videos rss feeds um, youtube videos um, anything you want, any of the features that a professional web designer has, you would get it, but you don't have to learn anything technical. And that is Ambit Update.